This is a tutorial to show you how to use the desktop version of Stellarium. It's a wonderful program that will turn your computer into a planetarium. So when you start the program, it should know where you are located and it should give you the sky as seen right now from your location. To double check that, make sure you check down here if it knows if you are in the right city. If not, you can see the two menus are here, one at the bottom, one on the left. Come to the top one, location window, and you can enter the coordinates or click on the map or look in the database, but most likely it will know your location from your network, but make sure it knows where you are. And then one thing I really like to do is to come here and get the date and time window. So it will show me the date and the time right now. You can change the time here and we can see as we increase the hours, uh, the sun is getting to the western part of the sky. It will set tonight, and then we can see the stars. So this is the sky tonight from my location after sunset. The main stars, in this case planets as well, are indicated. Again, this is the sky on April 8th, 2025. So when you look at this video, it might not be exactly the same thing. You can see the moon is here the moon looks like it has a halo you can zoom in with your mouse scroll and there you go that's the moon you can also center it using the space bar and um, zoom out and you have lots of information here as you can see on the left when you click on the star you have lots of information something that's interesting is the distance which is right here so you can compare in light years the distance to different stars uh, for example, Procyon here is 11 or so. Betelgeuse is more like 500 light years away. You can also see the color of the text and the star represent the color of the star itself. So Betelgeuse is a red star, while Rigel, for example, is more of a bluish star. Now, if we come back to general view, you can look around in different directions. If you want to learn more about the stars and the constellations, actually, you can come down here put the constellation lines, the constellation labels, and you can also put the drawings. Uh, so for example, here's what we often call the Big Dipper, which is actually part of the constellation Ursa Major, and here's the Big Bear. Now, something interesting in the desktop version of Stellarium is that you can show the constellations from many different cultures. By default, it will show you the Western constellations, but many different cultures have their own constellations. And if you come here on the sky and viewing options window, and if you click on star lore, uh, by default, it's Western, but you can change it. You can see there's many different groups here. And let's go, for example, to the Ojibwe constellations, and we can put the drawings again. And it's really beautiful to see the Ojibwe constellations in the sky. And now we can see Ojig, the fisher. So have fun with it. There are many other options um, you can do with, um, with Stellarium. Uh, you can search for a different object configuration window and the, some windows are a bit more advanced. Um, something interesting is the help window. It will show you all the different shortcuts you can use and all the different options. And at the bottom, the menu here has many different views. You can remove the ground, for example, to see what's under your feet or remove the atmosphere, which is interesting to see the stars visible in the daytime. Um, and there are many different options. One thing I like to mention is the full screen mode, because usually when you start Stellarium, it will be in full screen mode. So you have to press this to come back to have the, the options to minimize the window and so on. Um, so have a look at different ones. You can also increase time speed here um, and have the time go faster and see how things move. Um, in the sky as time increases, for example, and now we can see the winter maker is going to set on the western horizon. So have fun with Stellarium, it's a wonderful program.